Welcome to Genrisk Scientist's new video application notes with Marx International. This video application note is Comprehensive Analysis of Copy Bean Extracts by GC Times GC TOF MS with Laura McGregor. Before we begin, allow me to quickly introduce Laura. Dr. Laura McGregor is the Product Marketing Manager for Time of Flight Mass Spectrometry at Marx International, a specialist manufacturer of analytical thermal desorption instrumentation, associated sampling equipment, and time of flight mass spec. Laura gained her PhD in environmental forensics from the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, where she used two-dimensional gas chromatography with time of flight mass spectrometry to chemically fingerprint environmental contaminants. Laura, over to you. Thank you very much, Rich. In this video application, we're going to look at the separation and identification of complex coffee extracts using comprehensive two-dimensional two GC coupled with time of flight mass spectrometry. Now, the taste and aroma of coffee is made up of hundreds, if not thousands, of different compounds across a wide range of chemical classes, some of which are shown on that site. Now, the variety of these compounds and the ratios that they're found in can be altered by a wide range of factors, such as roasting time and temperature, and the origin of the coffee beans being used. This means that slight differences in the coffee production process can have a huge effect on the characteristics of the final product. Now, because of this expected complexity of the samples, we decided that they would benefit from the enhanced separation of GCGC. Now, the diagram here shows an overview of the technology, where two columns of different selectivity are coupled to allow an order of magnitude more compounds to be separated than traditional 1D GCMS. Now, the key component here is the modulator. Now, this traps the first column eluent and re-injects it in narrow bands onto the second dimension to avoid overloading the shorter column and to retain the separation that was achieved in the first dimension. And we've coupled this technique to the Mark's Benchtoff HD, a time-of-flight mass spectrometer that delivers fast acquisition to keep up with these um, fast separations and high sensitivity and reference quality spectra for confident identification of all the components. Uh, the samples we have analysed were obtained by liquid-liquid extraction of brewed coffee, and the resulting GCGC -GC colour plot is shown here for one of the samples. And over 3,000 peaks have been detected in this single sample. It's clear that in a 1D separation, there could have been more than 20 peaks co-routing at any one time, so even with the power of deconvolution, it would have been exceptionally difficult or even impossible to identify all of these components. And if we zoom in on a particular area of this chromatogram, you can still see the huge number of peaks that are separated even in a small region. And here we have a number of important nitrogen-containing compounds that have been identified. And these have been known to give coffee its roasted, nutty uh, aroma and taste. And these trace compounds would have been very challenging to identify in a conventional setup as they have multiple, multiple higher loading components which would have masked them. Now to prevent needle in the haystack type searches in these very complex data files, we use GC image software to target key components. The software includes a simple scripting tool to be able to search for target components based on their mass spectral or chromatographic features. For example, here we see the search expression that was used to find a pyrazine compound that is known to be responsible for a hazelnut aroma. The search was applied to the whole chromatogram and returned a hit in seconds. And the nest match for this compound is shown on the slide. Now, these search expressions can be added to a template to make it quick and easy to search for target compounds across multiple samples, even when your chromatograms contain thousands of peaks. Three different extracts were analysed using this technology. They were all prepared in the same way from green coffee beans from different regions of South America. The three colour plots easily show that samples A and B were very similar in content, while sample C was noticeably different. Now, unsurprisingly, caffeine was the dominant peak in each of these samples, but templates were created to compare the compositions of some of the key chemical classes. And you can see from the chart on the left 
that sample C had a higher ratio of phenols, indicating that it may not have as desirable an aroma as the other two samples. Uh, in summary, the separation space of GCGC, coupled with the high sensitivity and reference quality spectra of the bench trough, can deliver an unparalleled chemical fingerprint for these coffee extracts, a huge help when comparing or engineering new flavours. We've also demonstrated that data processing doesn't have to be a chore, with simple search tools and templates to find target compounds quickly and easily. Thank you very much for listening. If you would like to know more about the analysis of these samples, please download application note 533 from our website. Or alternatively, you can contact our application specialists using the details shown here.